Hello, lead workers, and today we're going to be doing, a, well, I'm going to be making a jump pad tutorial for you guys, and here it is. So, let's just go over our scene really quick. We have a couple of basic things. We got the uh, pad where our player is going to jump up to, the jump pad, and the player, and obviously the floor. Anyway, let's just hop right on in. So, we are going to be using Flowgraph and the player script. So let's go ahead and start with the player script. So go ahead and find the player script. I actually have tons right here. And go ahead and just copy and paste it. I recommend if you're going to modify a script that's already here, always copy and paste and make a new one because it will save you from uh, messing up the script. So I'll just go jump. Whoops, ignore that. <laughs> rename that and FPS player dot jump and open now immediately we're just gonna go ahead and add this scroll all the way to the bottom you create a new function and this function is going to be trigger ju um, jump and And we want this to be connected to the flow graph as an in input, so we need to put in right here. Now we're going to be using a function called add force. And this will take a set of three values. And these values are, are going to be x, y, and z. And in front of it, you put your name of the entity. So uh, let's go ahead and add this in. So our name is going to be self dot n it just like that. Now our force is going to be on the y-axis because the y-axis is up. Z-axis is for um, well, actually in our case it's not, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and change this one to zero and zero. If we use it now, it'll just be nothing. So we want to go ahead and change this to be. Uh, I'm gonna estimate a value here, uh, 60, and I'll say 50. Hopefully that's right. And now let's go ahead and set up the other connection so that we can go ahead and test this and it's very simple we just need to apply a um, collision trigger and uh, what in the heck just happened here why okay uh, just ignore these options here I don't know what happened um, anyway now let's go ahead and open up our flow graph editor and uh, you won't have these um, so yours will look like this so go and drop the mesh figure in uh, and it is completely blank which is what is going on here okay hold on just try to figure this out really quick okay for some reason the script got uh, unattached I don't know. That's the script we're just working on. Are we... Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, um, let's just go and drag this in. And there you see we have our trigger jump input, drag our cylinder, and connect the collision and the trigger jump. Now, when we run our game, if we don't get any errors, and we jump on this, boom. We almost have our jump pad. You see that? I almost estimated that correctly we need just a little bit higher um, sorry let's go to our scene or we can actually just open up our script editor because I have the script loaded and let's just go ahead and add a bit more jump uh, you want know I'm gonna say 80 so I want to get to the middle of the jump pad and that just totally flopped why Okay, yeah, and this is a um, 
and directional jump pads so it means you can come at it from any direction and it will shoot you straight forward so you have that means you have to actually jump on this before it sends you up Ew, that was way too high um, now maybe just 65 here too and I'll just play this and that should just be boom Ooh, okay. uh, you know I fine 60 65. And now I'm just falling through the platform, so... Um, physics, scene... Oh, rigid body, we need to change that to box and fit shape. Um, play. See if that does anything for us. Boom. Uh, like I said, directional jump pad. I mean, indirectional, sorry. Boom, and we did it. Check that out. However, it's a little hard to get up there, so I'm just going to change this value to 65 and forward value to 70. So it's a little bit difficult to get up there with it. There we go. And boom, we have our jump pad. As simple as that. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked this tutorial. I know it was a bit rough. Uh, I don't often record tutorials, but I'm going to start recording a lot more tutorials for the Lubbox engine. And um, see you next time.